You know when you and your friends are hanging out, sitting around, trying to figure out what to do? Well, once you learn about the game of die, that is no longer to be asked. The game is fun to play and also competitive, suiting everyone's needs. You can play casually just to have fun or play to win. In my opinion, playing to win is my favorite way to play. My many years of experience playing this game makes me a very credible source. I speak from my own point of view as I enjoy this game anytime I play and whenever I play with someone who has never played, I have always been given positive feedback in return and very rarely anything negative. Playing die is a great game to play anywhere. You can play inside or outside. It makes you bond and compete with your friends and most importantly creates everlasting memories. There are many components to discuss to learn how to play, so I will explain in detail so everyone easily understands how to play. Outside of the basic rules, there are more advanced components that tie into the game that I'll also discuss. Finally, I'll explain how this game can be played anywhere and how playing inside is different from playing outside. Now I'm going to toss some die at you and hopefully you will be able to catch it. Now to start, you are going to need four people who each have a cup of their drink of choice and you split up in teams of two. You will need a piece of plywood and something to hold it so it is like a table and then two dice. You then stand on the same side of the table as your partner and put each of the cup on the corner of the table on your side. So there should be a total of four cups in the four corners. Once you have that set up, you are ready to start playing. One player from each team rolls a dice and whoever rolls a higher number starts. Each member of the team gets to throw the dice underhand. The dice must go no lower than 10 feet in the air above the table and it must land on the other half of the table on the opponent's side. If it does not hit the table or lands on your half of the table, no point is awarded. If your dice hits the opponent's side and bounces off the table, the other team has the chance to catch it with one hand, and they do that, and you will not get a point. Now to explain how the point system works. If the dice bounces correctly on the other side of the table and bounces off hitting the ground, then the team that threw is awarded one point. If the dice is thrown and it hits the table and rolls and hits the cup and then onto the ground, the team is awarded two points. And if you throw the dice into the opponent's cup, cup which is called a plunk, then you <coughs> get five points. The games are usually played to 11 points, and you must win by two points. These are just the basic rules, so get ready for the ever so slightly more confusing advanced rules. There are a lot of simple rules that may seem confusing, but it makes the game that much more fun. While keeping track of the game, you are not allowed to say the number is 5 or 7. If you do, then your team loses a point. So when keeping the score, you te your team must say biz when you have 5 points. If your team has 7 points, then you say buzz. Another rule is called FIFA, like the soccer league. If you throw the dice on the other side of the table and it is not going to hit the table, the other team can use any part of their body besides their hands and arms to hit it up to the teammate to catch. If they do, then your team loses a point. If they hit it up and the team that threw it and you catch it, your team is awarded a point. The last rule is if you throw the dice up and it lands on the table, you can call out the number you think it is going to land on before it settles, and if it is right, you get the dice back and get a rethrow. This dice can be played outside mainly, but also can be played inside. It is just played sitting down and chairs are not standing. You are you do not have to throw it as high as outside. Some of the rules, like the point system, are the same, but also some rules do not exist or they are revised. I enjoy playing outside in the weather while getting some air, but inside at night is also fun. The game is in all is fun to play and I hope this is an easy way to understand it as I know it can be a handful. There are many rules and different components to playing die, but once you get the hang of it and start to play more, it is a blast. No matter where you are, like the beach, backyard, dining room, table, etc., all you need is four players, four cups, two dice, and you are on your way to have a fun, competitive time. Playing die is a perfect game as it makes you bond and compete with your friends and most importantly creates everlasting memories. I hope that die has interested you and you give it a try because it will not disappoint.